Welcome to Unmasking Narcissism TV, where we delve into the complexities of overcoming trauma and healing the inner child. In this video, we'll explore the profound impact of narcissistic abuse on inner child wounds and provide practical techniques for inner child healing and inner work. Understanding the Impact of Narcissistic Abuse on Inner Child Wounds Narcissistic abuse can leave deep scars on the inner child affecting one's sense of self-worth, identity, and overall emotional well-being. The first step towards recovery is acknowledging and understanding the impact of these wounds. Whether you've experienced neglect, emotional manipulation, or other forms of abuse, recognizing the connection between narcissistic abuse and inner child wounds is crucial for the healing journey. Recognizing and addressing childhood wounds. 1. Acknowledgement is the first step. Take the time to acknowledge and validate the pain caused by childhood wounds. Understand that your feelings are valid, and it's okay to confront the past to pave the way for healing. 2. Therapeutic support. Seek the guidance of a therapist experienced in trauma and narcissistic abuse. Professional support can provide a safe space to explore your emotions and develop coping strategies. 3. Establish boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries is a vital aspect of recovering from narcissistic abuse. Learn to identify and communicate your needs, protecting your inner child from further harm. Practical techniques for inner child healing. 4. Inner child visualization. Engage in guided inner child visualization exercises to connect with your younger self. This practice allows you to offer comfort, understanding, and support to the wounded child within. 5. Journaling for reflection. Keep a journal to document your thoughts and feelings. Reflecting on your experiences can provide insights into patterns of behavior and aid in the healing process. 6. Self-compassion practices. Cultivate self-compassion by treating yourself with the kindness and understanding you deserve. Practice self-love and forgiveness as you navigate the challenges of inner child recovery. 7. Mindfulness and meditation. Incorporate mindfulness and meditation into your daily routine. These practices can help you stay present, reduce anxiety, and create a sense of calm conducive to healing. 8. Creative expression. Explore creative outlets such as art, writing, or music to express and process your emotions. Creativity can be a powerful tool for self-discovery and healing. 9. Connect with supportive communities. Join online or local communities of individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse. Sharing your journey with others who understand can provide validation and a sense of community. 10. Celebrate progress, no matter how small. Recovery is a gradual process. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and acknowledge the steps you take towards healing. Patience and self-compassion are essential companions on this journey. In conclusion, Overcoming trauma and healing the inner child after narcissistic abuse is a transformative process that requires self-reflection, self-compassion, and the implementation of practical strategies. By recognizing and addressing childhood wounds and engaging in healing practices, you can embark on a journey from hurt to profound healing, reclaiming the essence of your true self. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit. Also visit our website www.unmaskingnarcissism.com. There you can also download a free ebook with 10 tips for recovery after narcissistic abuse. Remember, you are not alone in this journey, and your path to recovery is uniquely yours.